Let's talk about compound interest formula. We'll use this formula when your interest is compounded every certain period of time. At the end of each compounding period, the interest generated during this period will be counted as part of the loan or part of the investment. In this formula, P is for principal, which is the current or the beginning amount. R is the interest rate. Usually it's an annual interest rate. M represents the number of times the interest is compounded per year. For example, if your interest is compounded monthly, then M is equal to 12 because your interest will be compounded 12 times a year, one time for each month. If your interest is compounded annually, then, then the M is 1. If your interest is compounded daily, then your M is 365 because your interest will be compounded 365 times per year. T in the formula repre represents time, and usually we will use the unit of years. Finally, A represents the future amount after time T. Let's look at one example. Suppose $8,000 is deposited into an account paying interest rate at uh, 5.6 uh, annual interest rate with the interest compounded monthly. A, how much will be in the amount at the end of nine months? First of all, this 8,000 will be the current amount, which is the principal. And this 5.6% annual interest rate will be our R. If you turn it into a decimal, that's 0 0.056. Okay, if your interest is compounded monthly. That means your M will be equal to 12. All right. And we're looking for how much will be in the account at the end of nine months. So this nine months will be time. But since the time should be in the unit of year, we should turn nine months into year, which is nine over 12 year, which is three over four year. And we're looking for A. That's how much is A. Okay, so here we'll use the formula of compound interest. Let's plug in the numbers. 8,000 times 1 plus R is 0 0.056 divided by M is 12. Here M is 12 again times T, 3 over 4. You can use any scientific calculator to find your answer. I'll just use this one from Microsoft. There's 8,000 times 1 parentheses, pl 1 plus uh, 0 0.056 divided by 12 to the power of, okay, this button, to the power of parentheses. 12 times 3 over 4. So I will multiply 3 divided by 4. And the answer is 8,342.34. Usually we will round to the nearest cents. So the answer is 8,342.34 and 34 cents. And this is the answer to part A. Now for part B, I want you to pause the video and try it yourself.
after you're done, you can click play and check your answer. I will review the answer for part B in three seconds. Three, two, one. This is how I solve part B in steps. The answer is 11,185.97, this many dollars. I hope you got it right and see you in the next video.